Yo, yo, everybody, what's going on? It's your boy, Young Falcon, and of course, you guys know what time it is. You see it on screen. Multiverses is about to get its big gameplay trailer reveal, and I am here to react, talk, and discuss what's going to go on. We're all kind of in the dark because we don't know what's going to happen, right? They have Nakat and Void playing? What the heck? That's kind of massive. <laughs> The cat and void? Dang, bro. Hi, I'm Daniel Kraft, principal developer here at Player First Games. With okay. me now is our game director, Tony Huynh. Hi, I'm Tony, game director here at Player First Games and on Multiverses. I just want to fill everyone in on what's been happening since we first revealed the game in November. But, but, but. The team has been heads down working on the game, and we've had two technical alpha tests um, yep. that have happened. Um, I just want to thank has indeed been two. those tests and gave feedback. We learned a lot. Joining us are Nakat and Void, who held the number one spot in our 2v2 leaderboard on technical alpha test. What's going oh, on, dang. everybody? Okay. It's Nakat, and I am super excited and happy to be here to talk about multiverses. Dang. I've been playing fighting games professionally since 2009, so dang. I've kind of got a long history. How many minutes are us till the gameplay? It's on right now. Just let it all out and tell you guys why this game is so amazing. And I'm Void. I've been playing professional platform fighters for about a decade. I was about to say, and these two are fire. Talk about these are my boys, bro. Daniel and one of my static teammates for a very long time, the cat. So what are we actually doing here, guys? Oh, we're here to body you. Let's get to the stage. Let's let's see what you actually have. This fella said, oh, we're here to body you. What type of disrespect? <laughs> All right, here we go. So are they just going to show like... Gameplay, gameplay. First of four knockouts. Whoa, wait, that's weird. Okay. Okay. I'm actually hyped for the 2v2 aspect of this game more so than the 1v1 stuff because it looks like there's going to be team combinations. Like, people are going to be able to work together and do a bunch of crazy, like, recovery options. Um, It looks like there is some... I guess tag team recovery options and stuff from the trailer. So I'm kind of curious to see how that plays out. Movement looks so much better than the first trailer. That is for sure. Yeah, movement looks so much better, bro. Gosh, this game looks so much more fluid than I thought. 60 FPS doing wonders. Game looks good. Game looks real good. Art style looks fire. I do see Jerry in the cut. What the heck? You see that fella like throwing a tennis ball over to tom so they're kind of puppet character ish oh whoa stage hazards i hope the bats don't do too much damage or whatever or be able to turn them off in pro play dang they're both really getting they're getting washed oh my gosh just the scream okay dude movement's looking so solid what the heck movement's looking great um, also, it doesn't look like there's a traditional stock system from what I'm looking. It said first to four KO, so you just got to merc zone four times. Pretty interesting. Dang, yep, they're up too. Okay. Superman looking pretty solid. Good spikes, so spikes are definitely still there and all that. That's what I'm talking about, by the way. You saw how I think it looked like Wonder Woman pulled in Tom right there, like with her rope. So that's what I'm talking about with the, the recovery stuff, like the dual um, recovery and whatnot. So the smoke, you're actually invisible while you're in the smoke, unless you're attacking. Oh, yeah. for a bit. oh interesting. Then you can see through the smoke. Yeah. Then Batman's using the smoke because he cheats. <laughs> Ooh, uh, so you could... the bats basically do damage, so they kind of force you off the sides of the edges. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't like the, I don't like that. Bats doing damage and all that. Get off stage to bait oh, oh my gosh. them to come in. Oh, dang. Wait, Shaggy got combos. You guys peeped that? What the heck? Shaggy actually had like real, real combos. Yeah, there it is. You saw the recovery right there. He just zipped over to Tom by throwing the rope. So yeah, there's definitely some interesting movement and recovery options, which I'm definitely interested in. Um, we're not going to pause because it's a pretty long video, so we can go through and pause it on the way back for content. Ooh, tried to grab him. Gosh, darn. Launched her to the stars. I'm digging it. It looks good. Movement looks super solid. It's nice to just see raw gameplay. The game looks really good. Void was super high in damage, so we knew that we could get the kill if we just got him. So he was low, and we were just chasing him down. 
Um, okay. I did have a quick and fastball. Went down, we went yeah. down. So we didn't have any so, option to come back. Yeah. We tried, yeah. To, cover we tried to cover both the options. Yeah. I tried to the high low mix. <laughs> no, he was already dead. <laughs> I did my best. All right. Man, all right. I like it. All it looks really good. It looks super smooth. Very <laughs> colorful. I do hope we could turn off stage hazards. Um, We're going to adapt. Don't worry. We're going to adapt right now. And some other, I guess some other things. I forgot what they're called. I think this should be a fine like stage hazards and um, I think there's like gear and stuff some certain players can have. Hope we could turn that off. Okay. Okay. Good movement. Good movement. Oh, whoa. That's kind of sick, honestly. Wait. He like hit a switch and it opened a door underneath. I think that's kind of an interesting stage gimmick. And then you could break the side of the walls and stuff. I have to say, this stage is kind of legit. I'm kind of I'm kind of down with this stage, honestly. Like I, I feel like there's so much coordination that could go into the team aspect of this game for sure. Like calling out, I'm hitting the switch. Go for the spike. You go for the spike. They're gonna get knocked down, right? Gotta stay aware. You know. Some of that stuff would be pretty dope. I saw a KO effect there. Nice. Two really cool KO effects. That's dope. One was like a Steven Universe thing it looked like. And the other one was definitely like Tom and Jerry related. Pretty cool. Gotta like KO effects. This game looks so much better than the trailers. Like it's, it's ridiculous. It looks so much more smooth. It's also interesting to see um, players not have lives. Instead, they kind of play by KOs, which is which is pretty dope, actually. The dodge. Uh oh, yeah, they hit the switch again. Oh, that cat went for the risk at all, Spike, bro. That cat went for the risk at all. But he is not dying. Superman's at like 197. There you go. Good. Oh, he's still alive. What type of DI, bro? And then he gets spiked? Oh, nah. I'd be so tight. Dude, how, how many... How many hit points could Superman take? There you go. Nice. The double KO. He got a spike off the off the bottom, and then he got a uh, side smash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait. Wait a second. It's getting close. It's getting close. The zoinks, bro. The zoinks are coming out. And the voice lines are great, too. A lot, of, a lot of good grunting and all that stuff. This fella just went into Super Saiyan. Nice. Good picks. Good picks. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking the movement. I'm liking the combat. Nice. Nice. Pots and pans. Bang them. Pots and pans. Bang them. Oh, my gosh. They double teamed the Superman. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Shaggy's going crazy right now. Okay. Ooh, so he has, like, a shielded ability. Nice, 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 nice. That's all, folks? Yeah, I saw that. That was cool. Oh, shoot. We got mad matches. It actually makes it a, a much uh, easier to balance the game when you know Shaggy is in a healthy state, since he is the baseline. Oh, okay. There you go. As you can see, he doesn't have a shirt anymore. <laughs> <He's> pretty ripped. Say <laughs> so Shaggy got a bill. I was about to say, this fella been hitting the gym. No cap. Okay. All right. Yeah, this game has very solid uh, movement and fundamentals, it looks like. I'm really looking forward to how the movement plays, because it seems like um, it's not too average. There's a lot of really cool things going on in terms of being able to do 2v2 stuff, which is what I, like I said a couple times, I was really interested in how they're going to focus on the 2v2 aspect. Nice. I get another Steven Universe KO screen. Ooh, we got some ghosts for that one. I'm down, I'm down. Oh, that was dope. He kind of got like Captain Falcon vibes. The shaggy knee. Like you guys are seeing this, right? Yeah, he, he literally has like a Captain Falcon knee. That's crazy. I think I have my main. Okay. 
Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of got some some work in there. Oof. Okay. Zoinks indeed. Will this game have local multiplayer or is it mainly going to be online focused? That's another thing I, I have been wondering about. Because it's nice that they're just showing gameplay. The game definitely looks like it's in the state to just show it off. Um, and it looks really good. It looks really, really good. Nice. Good dodge. Oh, he whiffed. I like how the, the screens light up. Um, the edges light up uh, once you're near death and about to get smashed off screen. It's a good indication for new players to be like, oh, you're going to die if you go over there. Nice. That was a Game of Thrones one, if I'm not mistaken, right? Stages look really good, too. All the, the fusion of, like, the mascara and the weird Looney Tunes stuff for the background is pretty dope. Nice. Nice. Nakata and Void cleaning. They, there we go. There we go. They kind of they kind of saucing. They kind of cooking. Good tech. Okay, we can tech off ledges and stuff. Uh, Shaggy super low. Dude, I, I, I do like the map design from what I'm seeing. It's got some good stuff going on. Nice. Oh, yeah. We doing the YouTube. I got you. I got you. Trust, trust. This is easy content. What's up, problematic? Nice. Good stuff. Ooh, they got comms. They got comms. They said it's all good. No. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, okay. Look at the movement. How long he was like off stage. There is a tactic if you keep mashing the same buttons, but I'm noticing. But um, I do like the movement there. Like there was mad recovery options Shaggy had, which is dope. Yeah, the, the cat gotta watch out. He's, they're both very, very high. You gotta cover your boy. Nice, good pick. Dang, this game looks so good. Nice. Yeah, the fist bump. We just got done with some games. All right. We were able to hold our own for for some of them. Yeah. How do you guys feel after playing uh, Multiverse? What, what are your thoughts on the game right now? Well, first of all, I think you guys are probably the best players we've ever played. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I feel Absolutely. like that made the experience like super duper awesome. I love playing this game. Okay. And okay. At the level, like a higher level, the game starts to become really fast, really combo based. You can see a lot of the. Team I was about to say, it does look much, much more fast paced than I was expecting. Because all the trailers made it look Brawlhalla. This looks definitely more like. <sighs> what's the word I'm looking for? It kind of gives you Rush Down Revolt vibes, I won't lie. You see, like, the cancels there that Superman was doing? He, like, hit attack and he flashes white, and then he goes in for an attack, right? Um, I don't know if you guys have played Rush Down Revolt, but it's kind of melee esque. But I don't want to use the term, like, melee, because it's. You know, nuts, so I was like, it was very eye opening play, you guys. Never that fast, right? I could see why you guys got to the top of the ladder. Okay, <laughs> allowed you to take Tom and Jerry and Wonder Woman to the top of the leaderboard. Tom and Jerry, they hold a special place in my heart. This is my guy, and I just, <laughs> just multiverse. This multiverse. fella said it's just because I, I like the character. <laughs> what a chat! This is why I voice my Wonder goat. <laughs> I like her moveset. You can snipe someone off stage with a lasso, or you can reel them back towards you. You can reel yeah, that looks really dope. Like, this is all great utility. She still had so many other well-defined aspects to her that I thought mm -hmm, she was a really mm -hmm. strong character. Okay. So Jerry's kind of more of a zoner. He's trying to hit Jerry, but in the process, he's hitting. Yeah. Else. And it just helps. Be able to switch between them in terms of a kind of a, kind of a partner system, kind of ice climber esque in terms of just utilizing the moves from what I'm seeing. One of them to be collateral damage. <laughs> okay. They're not trying to fight other people. They're yeah. fighting each other. Right. So yeah. You definitely get that vibe, which is dope. Really it looks like they're just throwing like themselves all over the screen. More so, Wonder Woman. She's like a very team-oriented character, like. and she works really well with her teammates. Like traveling okay. them, putting armor on their teammates. All right. And you know, Tom and Jerry, they're also very team-oriented, and like it's just very interactive, and it's just funny to think like Tom and Jerry and Wonder Woman working together. Yeah. <laughs> Superman. So what, what aspects of the TV2 did you guys enjoy? Personally, for me, I guess as a Wonder Woman player, mm -hmm. uh, I love that hitting my armor actually teleports me to my partner to shield them as well. I, Ooh, I think that's really okay. It was well balanced, too, with the cooldown that was added to it. Love okay. edge guarding people yeah. together. Like, going off stage, 
Yeah, that is really dope. There's a lot of, like I said, there's going to be a lot of team-based attacks in this game where you're actually making... The 2v2s actually seem interesting in this game, say, compared to, like, a Smash Bros. Because you're literally utilizing moves in tandem with each other to buff each other, help each other recover, whatever may be. And I think that's really, really dope. Is there anything that you guys would tell us to, like, help us keep improving the game as we move forward, developing it? Keep being creative. I think that's what I would have to say because there's so many things in the game that I didn't know that I'd love already. Oh, okay, I okay. Want that to stop. All right. Like, all Interesting. I'm digging it. I'm digging like, it. The lobby music is like stuck in my head. Yep. And just oh, like, snap. You know, Lisa, the OST you know, fire. Wait a second. Come together in multiverse. Wait a I second. Just, I just want even more of that. I agree with Void. Keep up the creativity because alongside the amazing gameplay, that's what's carrying the game. I, I didn't know how many characters okay. or possibilities were able to actually be included in a new platform fighter. And so the big thing for me was I really wanted to see if this could carve its own path and be something mm. totally unique. And That's I finally got to play definitely what I, I get the feeling of, too. The game definitely feels and just and looks like from the, the clips we saw so much more unique really than all the other ones on the market. So just because like, of the team-based aspects alone. Characters. And so... It just makes me excited to see what's coming in the future from this game because you already i'm sorry, yeah that's I dope I, I genuinely love the game the big thing for us is to make sure our characters play the way that you think that character would play just yeah like tom and jerry, okay when, when daniel designed and showed me tom and jerry and <laughs> that's great them. yeah that's great they're just fighting each other that's like so classic and it's incredible and so true and authentic mm -hmm. to what the characters actually okay are. so it's really i agree for us to be authentic to the game the characters yeah and the worlds that we're in gotta so keep them uh after the most legit versions of the, the voice actors playing the characters mm -hmm. as well as the music so a lot of the mm -hmm. music is uh is the original scores remixed specifically for this game excuse me oh so interesting thing that any creator okay and anything can do is give people something they didn't know they wanted and i think mm. multiverses is basically the epitome of that I didn't know interesting I different properties to come together i didn't know i wanted all these different remixes to man i can't wait to see like what kind of characters they're gonna add like how wacky it's gonna like get 2d or 3d because we know for a fact we could get a so to finally have that in a mortal kombat character because of wb right i'm pretty sure that's like a, a thing that could definitely happen in multiverses it's just um so like the fusion is going to be nutty with all the different possibilities you know much the art and beauty in a much like the scorpions get over here and, and stuff like and that it's gonna give us an opportunity to actually talk to but it like works off your teammate i'm kind of down <laughs> maybe buffs their attack hellfire and make updates that are catered to players and what they want of course oh nice okay a bunch of new characters come in new skins new ways to you know custom yeah let's go new skins and again, yeah we're stages so we're gonna have cross-platform cross-progression oh so cross-progression oh my gosh wait wait i actually have to pause real quick so this is a real fighting game with cross-progression free to play and it's a platform fighter that's crazy you want to play in however you want to play yeah we're looking to score and, as many and roll back types of players as possible like we want to have a game that uh, anybody can okay play but also has this really deep mastery curve um there you go are, we're trying to make the best in class online um of yes game, uh, yeah. basically ever and so we're yes. using a lot of uh, our resources into making um, online Ooh. great experience. So making after, netcode play about, I'm good. I'm getting the itch to play again, so I have to ask, when's the next time Multiverse is going to be available? The closed alpha Facts. is May 19th, and it's going to be uh, open to more territories, as well as on every single platform that we support. So PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Okay, okay, closed and alpha. players can sign up on Multiverse.com for a chance to participate. Thank you nice. guys for tuning in. Thank you, Tony. Void, and so the next alpha today. we have is May 19th, boys. May 19th, you got to sign up and you got to hope you uh, get in. Thank you. See you soon. Uh, one Tony, second. Void and the cat for joining me today. We had a lot of fun. Multiverses is a free-to-play platform fighter that will be coming okay. out later this year. Ah, uh, this later this year though? I don't know about that, Chief. I'm still getting a, I'm still getting a little worried. Usually, Thank you. going into closed alpha in May, you know what I'm saying? May 19th is the next closed alpha. However, the game is still going to come out like this. Year. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like, I don't know. We'll see. Um, Regardless, let's sign up for the closed alpha real quick off stream. 
Uh, confirmation emails will go out May 17th. Codes will be distributed and redeemable. Um, uh, I guess May 19th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you could play the game May 19th through the 27th. Um, how do you invite your friends? You can invite your friend and they can play with you, which is pretty dope. Um, there will be no Twitch drops for the closed alpha code. Uh, what content will be available? It will be uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Shaggy, Bugs, Arya Stark, Jake, and Finn, Steven, Garnet, Tom and Jerry, uh, and the extraordinary original creature named Ryan Dog. Uh, please know these characters uh, um, will initially be unavailable, but they're going to be unlocked over time through gameplay, okay? All the characters will be Im immediately available when the closed alpha begins. Interesting. So you have to unlock Batman, Superman, all those guys. How do you unlock characters? That's going to be the, the biggest thing for me. Um, there's going to be 2v2, uh, 1v1, uh, free four-player free-for-all, and the lab, a.k.a. the practice mode. That's pretty dope. And uh, a bunch of different ways to play the game. Uh, yes, um, there's going to be an internet connection that is required. Okay, okay. Um, all None of your stats carry over. Pretty easy specs. Uh, can you play with keyboard and mouse? Yes. Will there be accessibility options? This is all really dope. I didn't see any NDA stuff. Are we allowed to stream it? That's what I was concerned about. Can we stream the game? Still no. Oh, I guess right here it says um can't get the code through Twitch drops. So I'm guessing you can stream. I'm supposing you could stream. Uh, so yeah, overall, pretty dope. Pretty dope looking game. Uh, looking forward to playing Multiverses. Uh, it looks very solid. All the gameplay that I've seen thus far has been relatively great. Um, there's not too much about it that I can nitpick. I really like how the movement looks. It doesn't look nearly as janky as the uh, tech test, and or not tech test, sorry. Uh, out pre-alpha, I guess it's called. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the first couple trailers we saw, if you will. And the game looks like it's going to be in a very good state. Um, and they really are paying a lot of attention to it. Already brought like two big Smash players on to play the game and help support the scene out. And just the fact they got two of the highest ranking players, of course, really goes to show that they're putting a lot of effort into this game. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. And I can't really uh, wait any longer to get my hands on the game. So I guess I'll have to wait and see until later. Um, to see how the game pans out, see how the game plays. So I will be seeing you guys later. Thank you so much for watching the video. I guess, hopefully, we'll get into the uh, alpha test and kind of play through then. But until then, I'm Young Falcon signing off. Keep your eyes on Multiverses, and I'll see you guys next time.